What's up, it's your boy JT Automations back here with another video. Hey, you guys, appreciate all your love and support here on this channel. I'm here again with another reaction video because I told you guys I'm unapologetically an entrepreneur. I will continue to come on this channel and tell you do this business or I will share with you this business. You do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but this is a tried and true business that can make you money because my goal is to motivate, educate, and inspire you to do something entrepreneurial with a tried and true business model so that way you can reach whatever your financial freedom goals are but without further ado let's get into it hold on wait are you somebody on the internet right now that's looking for a proven way to grow your personal wealth create generational wealth work smarter not harder and just take advantage of what life truly is having the freedom to do whatever it is that you want without working a job just to pay the bills well guess what recently i was exactly where you were i was watching a ton of youtube videos buying courses listening to podcasts you name it and compiling information and through trial and error, I finally figured out how do you create a business that can make six figures or more per year that has no products or services. Honestly, I did it because I didn't want the headache of having to deal with products or services. If you're somebody that wants to do it with products or services, by all means, you can 100% do it. But for those of you that are watching this and that sounds interesting to you, I've written a book that will teach you the strategy I'm currently doing. This is not theory. This is what I do every single day I have several businesses that yield me multiple six figures every single year without any products or services and I want to pass it along to you if you're interested in learning how I do it click the link down in the description below What's going on guys money man Jeff here so I want to share with you an important message right what's good you guys gotta stop waiting for the perfect time in your life to take actions you can't wait for that perfect moment you can't say oh once i have a thousand five thousand or ten thousand then i'll take action or once i have a car or once my life becomes less stressful i'll take action and start taking the appropriate steps to achieve my goals and dreams there's no better moment than to act now because right now you can be stressed you can be behind on bills worried but if you don't do that now, in these moments that you're struggling, you won't be, build character because nothing makes you stronger, makes you more confident when you're taking yourself out the hole, out the mud, and you're climbing, you're doing everything you can to get out of it. And then when you finally surface and you see that there's hope, that's what gives you all the strength to go hard. And that's how people really get to the next level because they believe in themselves, they know what they're capable of doing, and they're able to execute, you know, just nonstop to, to get to the point where they want to get to. You know, so a lot of you guys who are watching this video, let's be real, you know, because before I got into phone flipping, you know, I didn't have money. I was making 300 bucks a week. I was late. I was late on bills. Hell, I was driving a crash of 300 2016 with no insurance for eight months, <laughs> getting your license suspended, not even paying. Now, I appreciate Money Man Jeff. Money Man Jeff, one of the realest entrepreneurs on the platform for, for saying that. Now, don't get it twisted. Uh, we're not recommending that you do anything illegal here, but what's so dope about Money Man Jeff in every video, he's gonna tell you the real. Like, this is what he been through. This is what he had to overcome to become now a international business owner, right? Does amazing in his phone flipping business. Also, I don't wanna assume that you have any idea what this business is because people don't always watch the videos in order. YouTube doesn't always recommend the videos in order. So it's not even a, a viewer's issue, right? So um, what he does is he does paid ads online, which if you don't know how to do it, that's fine. He teaches his students how to do it. But he does paid ads to find people that have extra phones or phones they just don't want that they want to sell. He buys it from them at one price, and then he has a list of private buyers. Don't worry if you don't know who they are either. Uh, FYI, I don't because, you know, I don't know who they are either. So don't ask JT who the private buyers are. All right, get on his list, get in his network, and he'll tell you who those are as well. And he resells it to them at a higher price than what he buys it. Simple supply and demand. It's a win-win. Somebody has an old phone. It's not doing anything but just taking up space. Uh, they get more money selling it to him than going to the kiosk in the mall or in the front of Walmart. So they're happy because they made more money. He's happy because he makes money as well. There is no shortage of phones uh, in the United States. Uh, and even now, he's showing that you could do this business in any state that you're watching this video in. So 
That is what the business is. Buying and flipping phones, 100% legitimate business. Now, he does teach people everything about the industry. Uh, so let's say that a phone screen is cracked or there's any kind of issues with the phone. Uh, he does some repairs himself, but he also has resources and can tell you how to find your own local resources uh, to get stuff done yourself as well. So don't get overwhelmed by that. The biggest issue that a lot of new entrepreneurs have is that they overthink things. So I want to encourage you to not overthink the bag. The bag is easy. Your perception of the bag is what makes it hard. Car no. So that was me. So I understand from a human perspective, you know, what it's like to be down and, you know, have life just throw your way that you can't even control, right? So if you're behind on your rent, behind on your car note, backed up on bills, looking to find, uh, you know, to improve your financial position, right? You're trying to get financially stable and make some steady income. Well, guys, I'm here to help you. I repeat, I am here to show you how to make quick, legal money as soon as possible. Let's I have people who are making money within the first two days. Ooh. I had someone call me today, hey Jeff, what's up? I made 500 bucks my first two days. Made five. It's just something that is proven to work because everyday people have these devices, whether it's an iPhone, an yeah. iPad, an Apple Watch, a Samsung, Android phones, we get them all. So there's room for everything for us to make money. So I'm gonna share this business with you guys and share with you how this business works. So the first step, how does this business work and why are we able to get these phones for people, right? So there's one group of people who need quick cash because they're in financial jams. I can't tell you how many times I've had people sell me their phones because they gotta cut back the water on and they don't wanna sell their phone. They're emotionally attached to that phone. They love that phone, it's the most beautiful thing Right now in their moments, they, they seek entertainment, they seek validation, talking to their friends, you know, motivation, watching certain videos, music. So you can see why a phone is so important to so many people. But if you're financially down, that could be one way for you to get rid of something in exchange for cash. Back in the day, people would trade gold, go to the pawn shop, oh, I'm gonna trade in my rings or my wedding ring. I'll, I'll try to get it back when I get more money. Uh, let me trade in something, anything, a TV, a llama, or let me just do something so I can get money. Well. Hey, I'm going to pause here and I don't know if you guys hear it or not, but I'm, I heard it and it's things like this that we have to address in YouTube videos to the new people, because if we don't, then somebody will troll the videos. Somebody will miss the life changing game because of minor details. And uh, of course, there's one school of thought that says that that's not the right person anyway, but I do understand everybody starts somewhere. If you hear any background noise, it is either A, I have a South African Mastiff, uh, that's a fairly decent sized dog, and two, my landscaper who should let me know in advance before he comes and starts, you know, doing my several properties, like making sure the yard looks Nice and clean. That's just one of the things that I like to do for all of my properties. You should let me know ahead of time. Guess who just made the cameras go off and is outside cutting grass. So if you hear anything, I apologize. Hopefully the soundproofing works though. If you don't hear anything, just life is life. Life be life. It's the same thing with phones, right? People are going to see the value and know that it has value and sell it to us when they're down, right? So that's one type of customer. Now, the other type of customers are just regular people, have good jobs, and they said they just want to upgrade. So the new phone came out. They had the 13. Now they want the 15. And they're going to sell that phone to us in order for us to give them cash and then use that cash either as a down payment if they're gonna choose to finance a phone or maybe they have a, a couple other hundred bucks saved up and with the money we give them, let's say we give them three, four, five hundred bucks for example, they're gonna use that towards the new phone they're gonna buy. And you must take in mind, Apple comes out with four new model phones every year. The iPhone 15 is coming out in September. It's gonna be the 15, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and 15 Plus whole new body frames, new colors. Everyone's gonna go crazy this year for these new model phones because everyone who didn't upgrade when they had the 13 Pro Max to the 14 last year, everyone's gonna hop over to the 15 Pro Max. And the reason why I say that is because I have the 13 Pro Max and I didn't get the 14 Pro Max because I knew it's the same exact thing. Wow, the little island bar, wow, big whoopie, slightly better camera, wow, big deal. 
You know, so I said, okay, I'm gonna wait till the 15th. That's the mentality a lot of people have. Yep, we made so much money last year because still people jump ship to the new phone. So this year is gonna be enhanced because new colors, new model, new frame, new appearance, new everything is not gonna be the same. So all these people are gonna be selling their old phones in order to have cash to use it towards the new phone. So that's what you guys must understand. We have people who are in financial jams, need quick cash to save themselves, and we have people who are constantly upgrading because they want the newest, hottest, and latest tech that Apple has to offer, right? So that's how the business, how do we find these types of customers, right? These customers are in financial jams, or these customers who just want to sell their phone to get quick cash so they can upgrade, mm -hmm. and that's the important thing. See, we're gonna use two things to get these customers, right? that involves social media marketing, which is called Facebook paid ads, right? The first one is advertising locally. So if I live in Miami, I can target everything within a 40 miles of Miami. So people who live in Sunrise, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, people who live in Homestead, the Keys, will be able to see my ad while they're on Facebook or Instagram. My ad's gonna pop up saying, we buy phones, get quick cash today. We buy new, used, locked, cracked, Unlocked, blacklisted, Apple Watches, iPads, MacBooks, and Samsung phones. Shoot us a message for a quick offer. And there'll be a send now message option on that ad. They hit that send message option, and then they could go ahead, and go ahead and tell us, hey, look, I have an iPhone 13 and an Apple Watch that I wanna to sell to you. How much can I get for these devices? And then you go along the process of the negotiation that I show you guys in the course, and then you close the deal, and that's it. So. There's that, there's running ads on Facebook locally where we live, or running ads at a national level all across the 50 states of the US, right? So I can run ads being in my desk from Miami, targeting people who are in Los Angeles, Dallas, Philadelphia, New York, Seattle, Idaho, Wyoming, wherever, right? And as long as that person is using Facebook on a phone or a laptop, in those areas, they are going to see my ad whether they like it or not. And if they need quick cash, if they need bills that need to be paid, if they have things that they have to take care of, they will contact you to sell you that phone or if they simply just wanna sell you the phone because they upgraded or they wanna upgrade and they just need the extra cash, then that's also how you would go about getting those type of customers as well. So Facebook paid ads is powerful because once you set up that ad, you determine how long you want that ad to run, and then you just sit back and wait for the calls to come in, right? Obviously, you must monitor the ad and make sure everything is running pretty good, but we cover that in the program. So as long as you're using those two forms of marketing on Facebook platform, you are gonna get results. People are gonna contact you no matter what. And even let's say you aren't, you know, Facebook, you know, you don't wanna get involved with Facebook for whatever reason, you do not want to do Facebook. You don't want to download a new page and start a whole new profile just to run ads. You just want to keep it, you know, to your own style. Well, I offer Craigslist methods as well. Craigslist is a good way to get phones. And then I have two local marketers that are extremely powerful. I have people, man, I prime everything that I love. I had a student call me today saying, man, I went to that local marketing strategy that you showed me today and my phone has been ringing off the hooks. Everyone tells me that, and if you apply this, you will be telling me, Jeff, that method works amazingly. No one could tell me it doesn't because I know it does. Power. So Real. you have different methods of getting these phones, whether it's Facebook, Craigslist, or the offline, more of the footwork strategies. But these strategies work because they're, these are everything that I've applied, and I've been doing this for almost seven years. So these are methods that are proven to bring you results and not just something that I'm just taking out of a hat to just feed you garbage. This is the true stuff that you need to hear if you wanna be successful. Now, this is how it's gonna work every single time. Once one of these people call you guys to sell you a phone, this is what I do. People call me to sell me a phone, I ask them if the phone is unlocked and paid off, they give me an answer, I ask them if it's in good condition, no cracks or damages, I ask them is it the highest amount of gigabytes, and if they have the original box and charger, and based off what they say to me, I shoot them a price based off a price sheet that I look at. Right, so I could be on my phone or my computer looking at the price sheet, and if they're trying to sell me a 12, I already know what to offer that customer because the price sheet is a clear indication of what my buyer's paying me. So if my buyer's paying me 400 for an iPhone. Hey, don't let this go over your head.
this is business made easy, all right? You ain't got to think about if it'll sell. So now you worried about buying it because what if nobody buys it from you? Uh, there is no how much should I pay? Well, you know, based off of the price sheet, this is the most that they'll pay you. So depending on the difference between what they'll pay you and what you negotiate is your profit margins. And you can make your money off of volume or off of just how good of a deal you strike. Now, what I would say is that if you try to beat up everybody on price, especially somebody that is going to be a customer that you can do business with over and over again, I recommend that you just consider not doing that. All right. If they're going to be a good customer, if they got a lot of phones, whatever, whatever, and they can be a long standing asset to your business, you ain't got to make every dollar off of them, right? That's just the real. Now, if it's a one off customer, you'll probably never see them again. Then it is what it is. Like, uh, but just think about it. On 12, then I know to offer that customer 300 so I can sell it for four and make $100 profit, correct? So once they agree to the offer, we'll then meet up at a public location. If they're not doing the mailing, shipping the phones to us. Then once I'm with them, I'll inspect the phone, make sure everything is good. Run the IME on, on the SIG W. It's like a car fax, let you know the entire full status of that phone. Everything checks out fine. I then hand them over the cash. I take the phone or the Apple Watch, iPad, MacBook, or Samsung device. Doesn't always have to be only an iPhone. And then I'll go and sell it to my direct wholesale buyer. So in this case, if you guys are in my course, you'd be selling to me because I'm a wholesale buyer or you'd be selling to the other wholesale buying company that is trusted. If it's not in my program, do not trust it. You must understand that there are people out here that have bad intentions and you should only work with people who have good reputations, such as myself, who have been in the street for a long time. And that's it. Just follow my steps and you'll be good. So that's all it is. You see how easy it is? Buy a phone to the low using these strategies then resell it to a wholesale buyer who's gonna 100% buy from you every single day. You see how easy that is? You see the help you get from the price sheet. You see the help you get from me, the free mentorship. This business is ideal. So if you are in a jam and you are trying to get out of that pickle, believe me, this is what you need 100%. I wouldn't give you any bad information and only good information because this is what can change your life. I'm not saying, this thing will change your life, will make you a millionaire. No, it will not make you a millionaire. But at least if you can start making $60,000 extra your first year, or $50,000 extra your first year, implementing this, you can use that money. Put, put it in the comment section, put it in the comment section, put it in the comment section. I need, to, I need to hear it. How many of you all would be upset if you start a business that made $500 in your first couple of days or in a relatively short amount of time, because it depends on how much work you willing to do and blah, 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 blah. And I don't want to be, uh, I, or I don't want you rather to be so stuck on, I got to make money in two days that you move so fast and you make a mistake. Now, um, if you're serious and you, you can handle it, then by all means do your thing, but let's not get super stuck on it has to be two days because I would much rather you start business the right way, stay in business, make a ton of money, than just try to do stuff real fast and end up making a mistake just because you were so worried about, I got to make this money in the first two days, right? Life about who making that, who making the fastest. In the comment section below, right? Let me know your first year in business, what would be acceptable to you, right? First year, you don't know nothing from nothing with a new business because I would venture to say that there are some people that wouldn't be mad about not making six figures their first year in business, right? Trust me, most new entrepreneurs that's just now getting into business, don't know nothing from nothing, they would love to have a 60K year their first year. You know how many businesses don't make any money or they make 9,000, 10,000, don't even clear 20,000 a year their first year in business, right? So the, the internet get it twisted sometime. Um, and it's not a shot at nobody, but I'm just saying that the perception is everybody going to start a business and make a million dollars their first year. That ain't how it is. Right. I was a dog in business and still I ran it up fast and it ended up broken homeless and had to be a dog again to rent it back up. All right. And, and by a dog, I mean, I was willing to work 14 hours a day. That's me doing the job. Right. Seven days a week. Ain't no days off. And when I'm not working, I'm doing research to learn more about the industry so I can find more opportunities and work more. So 
I'm sleeping for six hours. I'm working for 14 hours. That's 20 hours out of the day. Those other four hours, I'm not watching TV, right? I, I wasn't in no relationship. Like, I, I been real. Like, hey, man, I'm trying to get to the bag. I ain't really got time to be dating nobody. I can't talk. I can't entertain you right now. Hey, I love women, right? But, hey, right now I got to focus on just business. Because once I get right, then I can date a nice young lady and do X, Y, Z and, and actually have a proper foundation, be the man that I would like to be in a relationship. And like all of that to say this, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just figuring it out, right? If I had a blueprint, I would love to have made 60000 not having to work myself to death and could have had some sort of life, like, just being real, like, I started business in 2014, I ain't start talking about it in 2017. Them first three years, I figured it out, but them first three years, all I did was business. If I'm not working, then I'm researching work. If I'm not working or researching work, I'm sleep. That's it, all right? But talk to me, put, me, put it down in the conversation below. Your first year, W would you be okay with making 50, 60K? To fund other projects, For sure. other goals, other desires, other dreams. The point is that you must come with a plan, do this accordingly, and then use this money to fund your next project. Or if not, be like me and stay in the business forever. But anyways, guys, I hope this video was of some use and you guys get a better understanding of what it is that we do. We're just using ads to get these phones resell to wholesale buyers and we make a living off that. Clean and simple. For sure, legit money, all right? I tell people all the time, it's so many legal ways to make money. Like, and, and don't take this personal because I don't know nobody personally that's that's doing this, but sometimes people just get in their feelings because they know their truth even if you don't know their truth, right? Um, it's, it's really dumb to do something illegitimate or illegal in the name of trying to make a dollar with all of the opportunities that exist today on the internet, right? Like, it's, it's just like, uh, and dumb might be too harsh of a word. It, it might be better to say, you know, it's just ignorant. Like, people just honestly just don't know what they can do or what they should do to get to the bag. So that that's the purpose of having resources like this, channels like this, all right? You can go from doing whatever it is that you're doing to legitly having a market. Like, think about it. Your market is people that own cell phones. And you selling it to guaranteed buyers, right? Like, and the the plug, Money Man Jeff, the person that put you on, taught you the business, is also the person that you sell the product to once you go get the product. Like, it's crazy, all right? But if you want to take advantage of this opportunity, click the link down in the description below, right? Dope thing about Jeff is that, Jeff, you can ask some questions, Right, he'll have a real conversation. He a real person. He'll tell you all the ins and outs. Like you could tap into that community and and really start getting to the bag. Um, we have testimonies of his students on this channel. Matter of fact, we'll, we're gonna put some more testimonies of his students on this channel because I talk about it a lot because I want y'all to really get to the bag. But I tell you, do your due diligence. So. More on that coming soon. And that's all for this reaction video. Till next time, Tom Hustler, stay hustling. JT Automations. Yep, I'm gone.